Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday, 10 July. Powell Day, UK GDP Day, Bank of Canada Day. A lot happening today, but mainly it's Powell. Um, there's been quite a buildup internally in the market. I've seen it. Uh, through the guys that I talk to, everyone is waiting to see where this guy is going to uh, land on the uh, sort of dovish or hawkish measure. Bonds are ready to explode uh, one way or the other. There's a lot of pent up positioning here. We have very, very aggressive shorts who are going to come to the market if he's hawkish, uh, just because of where we are, sort of overextended. And we have a rates market, which is uh, sort of awkwardly sort of out in front of its skis. Everyone's looking for a cut. They were looking for 50. 25 is 100% baked in. This is always dangerous. Um, if he comes in neutral or waiting period or even remotely hawkish, uh, there will be incredible vol today uh, in the fixed income side. And this will probably bleed into the equity side and surely into foreign exchange. So 4 p.m. today, Swiss time. Uh, the speech will be released. The algos will uh, be first and then we will all follow. So let's be ready for that. Um, we've been talking about this now for two or three days. You should have it in your mind where you want to go with this. Uh, we're going to be focusing on 10-year bonds and dollar Swiss. Uh, these are our two horses today. Uh, that's if it's neutral or hawkish. And if he's dovish, uh, we're going to buy euros. Uh, when the reason we're going to buy euros is boons look like they've turned. This is the boon chart. Uh, pretty interesting. Below this uh, 173, a close below Actually, I don't know. Did it close below? Low yesterday was 172.86. Um, And the yield is now turning. You can see on the dailies, we hit a max low of 40 basis points. Uh, any prices back if this thing gets closer to zero, so stronger than minus 33 basis points, uh, we're calling a turn here in the boons. This, of course, you'll know is that this is a very similar chart to the to the tens. This is the 30-year, similar chart to 257 is the point um, in the 10s, 207 and 210. These are the points. Um, so this is our focus. And of course, if this comes to fruition, we think Dollar Swiss is going gonna, gonna to shoot higher. Uh, just because the carry in dollar Swiss is the greatest, you know. Short-term rates in Switzerland, as everybody knows, are close to minus 1%. Um, so this is your biggest uh, bang for your buck as, as far as carry is concerned. Let's quickly move to sterling today. Uh, we have GDP universally expected to be shit, uh, which is a worry. 124.40, a lot of people are calling the flash crash low. Um, I don't, I'm not really sure that's true. I mean, we saw this thing trade below 120. Um, that was that Asian night. Some people say 116.30 traded. Uh, but 124.40 will be a focus today. There's enough people who think this was the flash crash low. Um, Resolutely, 
negative news coming out of the UK lots of red bars here uh, the risk today is uh, this thing goes higher and I don't know why it, why it would or, or how it would I don't I haven't been following cable as closely um, just sick of sick of brexit and, and sick of the the tug of war the political tug of war that's going on over there but watch 12440 um, I don't mind the marginally bad GDP and then getting long back up through 12440 this strategy looks looks relatively useful on a day like today um, but it's going to be hit and run right you don't want to go into Powell with a big cable position so you just grab cash and cable if it's available uh, or you skip it no big deal but um, sterling's going to move today we've got GDP manufacturing production industrial production trade balance lots of uh, sterling news coming up today expectations are, are wildly negative uh, I don't I haven't heard of anyone who's like real positive on the sterling side um, and again, so that for me is a worry. The market is too one-sided on this, so the risk is that it's not quite as bad as everyone thinks it's going to be. Anyway, 124.40, this is the focus. Let's go to dollar CAD BOC today. Markets very, very short Euro CAD, moderately short dollar CAD. Um, We'll have to see uh, how hawkish they are. Um, I just don't. I just can't believe that they're going to raise rates today, in, in in the midst of all of this um, crazy dovishness that's like taken over the globe. Uh, but we know where the risk points are, right? One thirty, one forty now. One, two, three, four daily highs there. The pivot is forty five, which was a big breakdown point. Lots of fresh air up to 132.80. Could squeeze in dollar CAD. Um, it's, it's eminently difficult to trade dollar CAD over BOC, so you got to be careful with this. This will not be a focus today. Our, our focus is firmly on what Powell is saying. And because the BOC is exactly the same time as Powell, it is going to be a clusterfuck of low liquidity and it'll be very very difficult to control risk so this is 4 p.m. Central European time um, shit's gonna move so I don't know what to say with dollar CAD I would say if you are short uh, you might want to trim because uh, certainly we're gonna we're gonna visit both sides of this 130 150 just because of the volatility but even if they're hawkish and Powell is hawkish, where does dollar CAD go? It's, it just goes up. It goes down 100 points and goes up 200 and then probably finishes where it begins. There's a lot of scenarios that look um, difficult to control risk over. So we are going to skip dollar CAD today um, and focus on Powell. But BOC is today and... A lot of people are leaning on the hawkish side of this. So if he's dovish, uh, dollar cad will fly higher. God forbid he's dovish and Powell is hawkish. Dollar cad goes to uh, you know 133.50. But you got you can only focus on so many things, uh, and our focus will be on uh, the U.S. bond market today and dollar Swiss based on what Powell is saying. Quickly, uh, just want to throw this crude chart up. We're toying with this 200-day um, 5850. Didn't quite close above it yesterday. We did make a move up to 59, um, 59.10. We're back here uh, around 58.70. It'll be important if we can clear this 58.50. Actually, I don't think we are going to. I'm looking for a close back lower. Um, but now we have a good, interesting place to get short. Below the last two days low is 57.40. Uh, you can resell crude. We're in a downtrend here. 
and if you think this move up to 60.20 was a high and now we've kind of gone 60 percent 61.8 percent of this move higher do we get another flush uh, to the downside uh, not sure but I do think a structured trade entering through yesterday's lows looks looks interesting yes it's all Powell today um, going in square like to sell high ones between 90 and uh, 2990 and 3000 but you know if he's dovish don't sell anything if he's hawkish good luck to you You're, it's gonna be very hard to hit a bid um, because it's gonna move wildly uh, but it's exactly the same trade as bonds as dollar Swiss this is all one trade so you could easily just focus on S&P's today instead of bonds or focus on just dollar Swiss instead of any futures um, it's all the same trade if hawkish buy dollars if dovish sell dollars if hawkish sell stocks if dovish buy stocks same trade so anyway good luck out there people today yeah I don't want to blather on here uh, there's really nothing to say the first risk point is UK data and then um, you know take a nap get ready fully energized strong cup of coffee whatever you need um, for that 4 p.m. it'll be a very very interesting two hours and there's a little pressure on us to make some money today right this looks like it's gonna be one of those days uh, where we're obligated to make a killing so I hope you all make killings I hope we make killings get your head right and Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.